Hi everyone, Miranda Patron here with you and today we're going to paint one of the little magnetic canvases that I was talking about in one of my latest videos. You can pick them up at places like Walmart, they're about a dollar and they come white so I just painted the background black and we're just going to do a fun little design on it today. I think these are great too if you're looking for stocking stuffers or gift ideas, that type of thing. These are just something personal and fun that you can create for friends and family and it doesn't break the bank. And it's still something that's sweet and from the heart. It's also a great little item to have your kids create on. I have a bunch that my children have made for me and they're just wonderful little things to give even family as well from the kids. So you can think about that for gift ideas. <laughs> I think we'll still do a mandala today. <clears throat> and it's just over two and a half, about 2.6, about 1.3 would be our center. So I just get out my handy dandy etcher. 1.5, 1.25, let's see. So right in here somewhere. And then I'll just make sure the other way too is centered. Just over a little bit here. There. So in about this general X marks the spot vicinity is where the first dot would go for our mandala and that way it helps us keep our symmetry from starting from the center. If you're new to my YouTube videos, um, a lot of times I don't use guidelines, um, but if you want to use guidelines it may help you to do 90 degree angles for yourself just to have some kind of so just a plus sign basically, just to give you some guidance points and that way you can, some people are more visual that way and need the, the guidelines which is totally fine just to kind of help you gauge size and how you go along your design. Admittedly in the past I've just had some pieces where I just kind of wing it and I don't do any guidelines and sometimes they do get a little lopsided so and that's okay. <laughs> Definitely a handmade item. Got some defect here in the paint or in the canvas but we'll just ignore that for now. Okay so for a fun little center I'm gonna try this folk art metallic gunmetal gray. I already have it here on my palette and just want to see how it'll work out for our center dot. Okay, this paint is a little bit tackier, sticky. And then I really like to use for dots, but we'll just do the center dot here with it. But when you're using paint that's sticky like this, you just want to make sure you pull your tool, your brush, or whatever you're using up off otherwise it'll just leave a paint flop line a mess basically <laughs> okay i'm just gonna start with a little coastal blue here and i think instead of dots from the start i'm gonna do a couple of swipes here about a half an inch out and then just drag it towards the center dot. My little chatterbox in the background. Okay, and we'll do some on the angles too. The 45s. And this one is just the deep magenta. Okay, 
And now I have this really nice spa blue. And I think we'll start out here with some dots to our design. I like I like having Yeah, what are you telling me today, buddy? I always have my extra helpers on the weekend. I think we'll just do small dots of that spa blue down into our center. You could leave it as negative space, but I just felt like a couple little dots down would help brighten it up a little. Okay. And since we kind of have a purpley blue theme going on, DecoArt makes this awesome blue harbor color, which is kind of a periwinkle mix of blue and purple. And we'll do a nice big old dot in between those blues that we just did. Okay, I think I got flipped around here. Had to go deal with a mom re referee issue. So we're using the blue harbor. And we're just doing larger dots out to the outskirts of the spa blue that we used. that here. Well this guy isn't quite a full circle so I'm just gonna give him a little help here to even out the edges. And he might be a little too dry. Alright, so we're going to let those guys dry. Alright, now I'm going to just grab some white here. And I have a defect in my canvas, so I'm actually just going to put a dot right here above that. So it's just between you and me. <laughs> Which is okay because I have a design I can use on this type of 
canvas and this type of design where we have a little dot above like this. <clears throat> so we're just keeping it in line with the design from the center. So now we'll just do some little ones around our large dots here. Sometimes too you can actually steal from the dot, the larger dot, if it's still wet. And that way you don't have to go back to your palette, back and forth, back and forth. So in my head I'm thinking just to make sure I can do the white dots all the way around all the other Blue Harbor colored dots because that way I can keep the design the same as, as much as possible. So if I go all the way around here I want to make sure I can go all the way around all the other ones. So that was just what I was stopping to think about doing there. Just so you know the thought process. <laughs> so I'm stealing from the large dot. You don't have to, but that's just what I'm doing. And then we're working our way around the Blue Harbor large dot, just doing the graduated dots around so they get smaller as you get to the end. And this one's a little dry, so I'm actually going to take the white from my palette can see as the edges start to dry, kind of like when you're cooking cookies. They start to dry like peanut butter cookies, how they get dry around the edge and you know they're getting close to done. You can see the same on your dots. Now I want peanut butter cookies. <laughs> My girls have been into watching these baking shows lately and we almost never have dessert in the house and just try to keep it out of the house because you know that's the first thing we're all going to go for right if it's quick easy and sugar let's go for desserts but um the dessert shows are very addictive <laughs> to watch the amazing stuff they create and they always make me hungry there we go. So I'm just working my way around with the white to just do a ring of the smaller graduated dots. And see this one's getting a little close. So teeny tiny. I don't like to crowd designs. So if it didn't work, I probably should have checked better all the way around, but That is a live and learn experience. So, they're a little crowded there, but it'll be okay. But that's a good lesson too. If you decide to do a, a design addition to your mandala, you just wanna make sure that it works all the way around to all the spots you're gonna put it. Otherwise you get going and get halfway around and realize, oh, it doesn't fit dots don't go all the way around this one or they're going to run into each other if I do that or that actual S curl doesn't fit in that spot or whatever thankfully they're fitting most of the way around <clears throat> and all the rest of them so hopefully no one will notice that it was a little crowded on the other end on that one dot. There. 
So now I think because we used that dark magenta inside, I'd like to carry it out to do some dots here on the outer edge with it, just to help carry it through the design. So I'm just gonna add some larger dots here on the outer edge. And then we'll just maybe, I can only fit one down in most of these, I think. Well, maybe two. This is going to be dicey. Let's see when I get my spacing off sometimes, too. If I get talking, get rushed, get interrupted. I mean, there's so many things that happen in life, right? So see how all these are fitting too? The last one I get to, it's gonna be a little crowded, but it'll be okay. Or what I could do is just, <clears throat> pardon me, scrape this paint off and then do it over in black again because I have a background and then redo it. It's not too bad. I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to grab that coastal blue that we used again and go above our white. Above our white? Yeah. And just do a larger... This one kind of had goober in it. So that first dot we did is, it's got some stuff in it. Extra dried paint, I think, that just did not make a happy dot. So what I'm gonna do is scrape that off. Redo the black background. And then redo the blue dot. Yeah, this is just a dry brush that I have. And get rid of that gross chunk that decided to hop onto the canvas. Just so that we have a flat space here. And then I'll grab some more of the black. Thankfully the flat paint dries decently quick. And I'm just going to go over the spot where it messed it up and then just kind of flatten it out, blend it in. And then once that dries, I'll redo that coastal blue dot there. Okay, I think that's dry enough. So let's put this little guy back where he was.
Okay, now I'm debating whether or not I want to do some swipes to add some movement to this. Or if I might just do some white dots from top to the purple. Just to kind of give it a different, so we'll have negative space in between here. What do I want to do? Let's just keep it clean and simple today. We'll just do a little bit of the white dots here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we'll just take it down to the dark magenta that we did. And we'll see what that looks like. So I'm just kind of making almost a triangle or a V. Starting at the top of our coastal blue that we did. And then just letting the dots get smaller as I travel down to the deep magenta. You can see it's just kind of making a different outline, but still giving us some negative space toward Mandala. Which, I don't know why, but lately I've kind of been addicted to doing. I just like to constantly be doing something different. Maybe I get bored too easily. <laughs> Yeah, I just like change also. It's nice to just change things up and do a little mini adventure. See where we're going to go with the design. And if you don't like it, you don't have to do it another time. But then you might stumble upon something that you enjoy doing and... And you have a whole series of paintings with it. Just Just depends on your adventure. It's kind of giving like um, a star flower type shape to the whole mandala. It's cute. And it's fun. Just a small, tiny, like two and a half inch canvas that we're working on. So something you could add additional dots in here, add to the design. I think I'm going to do a couple small swipes if I can, maybe just one of the lighter blue just to kind of bring that out to the edge of the piece and then I'll be done. But you can also do, this is just the basic of this design, so you can also do top dots after to kind of do a highlight. <clears throat> There's lots of different routes that you can go with this. And then afterwards, I usually wait 24 hours. I'm using the spa blue now. I usually wait 24 hours, and then I have a varnish from Liquitex that I really enjoy using. And it protects canvas as well. And it's a brush on that I just use a brush to apply it. And 
And so these I just call swipes. I'm not sure. I know people call them the dot drag and comma stroke and I just have always called them stripes. <laughs> swipes, stripes, something like that. But I think too with the dot art, sometimes it's nice to have something solid. I mean the dot the large dots are solid, but it's nice to have something solid to kind of break up the design a little bit. And there's our fun little mandala. If you're looking for my other videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have them all there. There's over a hundred videos up there, even so far back to when I really didn't know what I was doing videoing. <laughs> so, a little grace, please, with some of them. But, um... Yeah, if you like this video, please feel free to share it with others and put a little thumbs up down there so I know you liked it. And also you can leave feedback in the comments, any questions that you have. I try to answer them as soon as I can. And plus I love interacting with you all and hearing what you have to say about the art. And also this will be released first to the Patreon subscribers. Um, and then it will go to YouTube. But if you are somebody who wants to see the videos before anyone else, then feel free to check out my Patreon page, P-A-T-R-E-O-N slash Miranda Patron. And I'll post a link in the description here so you can check it out. Alright, I hope you all have a great day and happy painting!